How good are your cleaning skills? I'd like to think I'm a pretty clean person. I can organize pretty well, but when it comes to some of the stuff I know I'm lacking, like dusting, oof, that one. Polishing the mirrors, oh my gosh, Nicole. There are a few things I know I need to do at my house and I just haven't done them yet. Right. So Nicole Rivera is here from Lavender Lush. And Thank you. Your cleaning company, just tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so we actually just opened last year in November. We're veteran owned. We're in Davis County and Weber County. And um, we're a residential cleaning company and we just love helping busy families to just relieve that stress of having to keep up with the everyday cleaning of your home. And it's hard right now because with the holidays coming, there are yes. people in and out of our homes. Right. So you have some incredible tips to help us and bonus it probably will make the process a little bit more fun and easy, yes, right? Definitely. So start with the first one, clean clockwise. Yes. What does so that mean? This is a process we like to use um, with our cleaning company, but uh -huh. it helps everybody because when you go into a room, you get overwhelmed really quickly. Yes. And so it's nice to have a process of where to start and where to end. Interesting. Um, Never I know of that. as a mom, we kind uh -huh. of jump in and we clean this and then we hop over there and then I find something that belongs in the bathroom so I go to the bathroom and I just miss a lot of things. And so our process for cleaning is just helpful like for everybody in general, but cleaning clockwise starting with the 12 o'clock position, which usually we start with the door that we came in from. We start that way and we just clean from the 12 to the one o'clock up and down. Around two o'clock up and down and it just really helps to have a process and it's less overwhelming okay. and you miss less stuff so I, I actually like it I've never thought about that but I'll try it fall decorations how do, yes. we, so, how do we do that without cluttering our house too I mean much? I my kids are older and so mm -hmm. I don't I don't overwhelm myself with too much decorating like I mm -hmm. used to when they were younger but it helped a lot to decorate with things that could be interchangeable so a lot of decorations like the pumpkins we have here and some of the acorns that we can put out in the fall that can be used all the way through to Christmas even in Got the it. new year and so okay. you don't have to change too many things and you can pack a lot less away. I'm always done. impressed or I don't I, maybe that's not quite the word but there's some people that do it every single month and I'm like right. how do you have time to do this stuff people right. anyways that's for my retired life let's move on to the dusting I'm terrible about it yes so dusting we have a lot of tools that we use with our cleaning company but dusting is huge I mean it's one of the things you have to keep up with regularly. If you don't, it gets overwhelming. Um, it causes allergies, it makes people feel yeah. sick. And so we have a lot of tools that we use, but we love really long extendable dusters. We have okay. we have extra long ones, which people don't necessarily need in their homes, yeah. but they make mm -hmm. some smaller ones. Um, dusting of fans is a huge thing. It that is. is something everybody misses. Oh, I'm gonna do that today. And cobwebs in the corners. And so okay. like this little guy right here, mm -hmm. he gets cobwebs well. And then the duster, um, the really long one, Fans, um, kind of at a right Perfect. So it's good to use. So you can use it on fans. Because awesome. fans are, I mean, you see it all the time and you wish it was clean, but you don't ever get to it. So. Exactly. Okay, moving on to tin foil on the oven rack. Uh, yeah, this one is huge. I actually made the mistake of laying tin foil on the bottom of my oven for years. I've always done it, and it okay. kind of ruined the bottom of my pan of my oven. And so I don't recommend putting it at the bottom, but putting it on the second rack or wherever you're baking to kind of line the rack and fold it under. It just helps to catch any spills because hmm. once you get okay. the spills baked on at the bottom, it's so hard it's to clean. A mess. Yes, it's totally a mess. Make a checklist. Checklist. Yeah, we're big on checklists because as we clean tons of homes, there's so many areas to clean. So having a really good checklist just helps you to keep on track. Using the checklist with your um, 12 o'clock clockwise motion, it just helps to make Brilliant. things a lot less overwhelming. What is your shower door hack? Shower door hack is, um, so shower doors, they get, we get a lot of water buildup. We talked about this in our last mm -hmm. segment too and how mm -hmm. to get it off. Um, glass shower doors are really difficult, but we like to use um, really super fine um, steel wool. And so you want to use the grade with the four zeros. I don't even know how to say I, four I zeros. Don't, I've never even heard of this. Um, but it's super fine steel wool. It is lightly abrasive, so Kay. you want to test a spot, but we like to use it with our Lavender Lush cleaner, but it will help to get off all of the soap scum, and it actually does a little bit of polishing, but you need the Who really fine steel wool. So looking at the baking soda, what's your trick yes. for that? Baking soda, so many uses, but the biggest one for me, especially with them, um, a lot of teenagers, mm -hmm. is to keep sprinkling it in the garbage. Every time we change out the trash, we always sprinkle Smart. it in the garbage and it will absorb all of those smells. Okay, that's yeah. I noticed some people put it in their refrigerators, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff too. Yeah. So, yep. so many great tips and helping us get through the holidays. Obviously, we can imp imply these ourselves, right. or we can call you and just say, hey, Nicole, yes. you and your team, come on over and do it for us. So how yes. do we do that if we want? Yep, you can give us a call at our phone number on our what You can mm -hmm. visit our website at LavenderLushCleaning.com. Um, we have Facebook, Lavender okay. Lush Cleaning, and then also our Instagram. Fantastic. We love it. There's a number right there on screen, or go to their website for more information. Thank you so much for the fabulous tips. Yeah, thanks Good for to see you me. again.